everybody, it's Nick again. Today I'd like to talk about why when we, we have a kitchen scrubs, we don't waste them, why they're so beneficial, they're natural, they're organic. The past years, I try to stay out of the old chemicals as much as I can and do the things how they used to be in 17, 18, 19th century. Anyway, today I'm gonna to try to make a short video why the eggshells are so beneficial. So there is a three elements in the eggshells. The biggest element is the calcium carbonate. Calcium. Why the calcium is so important for the plants? If there is no calcium available to the plants, the plants won't have any access to nitrogen. And when we don't have any access to the nitrogen, then the plants won't be able to make a, a photosynthesis. If there is no photosynthesis, then the plants will die. It makes basically makes the nitrogen available to the plant. I want to say something about the the calcium, it's immobile. What doesn't mean the calcium doesn't move in the soil. There is a microorganism which have to basically deliver it to the plant to be accessible. And this one, this is why it's so important to, to use them. It's way better for the microorganisms. Doesn't kill the good bacteria in the soil. If you put calcium from the store, the chemical one, it will kill the, the nice bacteria. The way I collected, the way I collected, when I broke the egg, I just put them next to each other. I break them, little pieces. Why do I break them on little pieces? They're more really dry. If, if I keep them in the house like this for seven, eight days, they will smell because the yolk. When get bad, actually dangerous for you. That's why I just break them like this on little, little pieces. I put them outside on the sun. I let them for three, four days, I will say. And when they dry, this one is almost already dry, then it's ready to apply. I break them. You can break even smaller pieces. How, how, how to know how much to put on a plant? If it's, this is a quarter of gallon, I will get for this plant, I don't do it by the eye. I will just put it on the top like this, just one little hand, and that's about it. But if you want to know exactly how much to put, to don't put all, I have the PP meter. You can test it with, with the PP meter. And I, I won't talk about this one because it's, this thing, it's, it's really long. I, I have to talk long about it. And uh, I, don't, I will just mention it. If somebody is interested to know more about the PPM and how you taste the PPM in the, in the, in the water, I will make a video. The other thing, it's banana. Why the banana? Why the banana? It's it's so healthy. It's niche, thirty percent. Got the sugars, the accessible sugar for the plant, and have the, the sea walls. So the sea walls is the paper basically, like the trees. That's how the paper cut. Actually, the people, I see they used in the cosmetics as well. You can cut a little piece, rub it in your face, and uh, you can even. Close your eyes after it's your face is getting so so like uh, strong. It, it's really nice. So, which element has the most calcium? So the calcium is the third most important element for the plant. The first one is nitrogen, potassium, calcium. What the why do the plants need calcium to be able to flower and to have a fruit? If there is no calcium in the plant the plant won't even flower, won't even have a uh, plant to harvest. The way I collect them, the way I collect them, I just get the knife, I have the cutting board, I cut them like little, little pieces, so they're more easy to get contact with the water. I just chop, chop them like little pieces. You can use it as well for composting, I have a warm uh, composting, I use it there as well. I don't use the eggshells for the composting 
because I don't want worms can die from them. They can eat the shells and die from these things. So how long you have to keep it in the jar? I already put like a couple minutes ago. The water, the water have to get dark. I will say three, four days. We, we get the uh, darker. I put like two banana peels per half gallon. You can put more and le less. But if you wanna, if you wanna know exactly the amount, you can use the PP, PPM, the code PPM meter. So basically, what this thing does, this is a, it's a tap water from the from the sink. They say uh, non if it's if you buy bottle water from the store. The purified bottle water will show zero, but here it won't show zero because the water is not that clear. It's 47. 47 is not that bad. There is like a manual on the back, you can read it. It's not that bad. This means there is a metals inside. I don't know what kind of metals, but there is a metals inside in the water. As much the PPM go up, it's better for the plants. There is more manure. I want to show everybody so you can see the difference. Here, sh show 47. I put like one banana peel in the water and show already 200, almost 400. 400 to one actually. I rec this thing is like 12 dollars on Amazon. Look how how much. Calum, there is it inside. How quick the things are getting there, and by the end of the day, I'm pretty sure we will reach thousand. But thousand is too much. If you don't want to spend thirteen dollars, I will tell you when the, if the water is too dark, too black, mix it with more water till it's kind of like start clearing out. And that's about. It. I can't say many more things about the banana banana and the eggshells and the coffee grounds but I will try to stay as short as I can and the third thing I want to talk about is the coffee grounds I watch many videos on YouTube and uh, they say oh collect the coffee grounds I've been reading a lot coffee grounds they're not good for your plants that's my opinion and why they're not good they ask there is only 10 plants in the planet that love acid soil. It's a azalea and other nine plants. Make the soil acid. So the pH on the soil starts from 1, go to 15. Usually the average soil, it depends where it is. It's, so 5.5, it's acid. 5 point, it's really acid. Seven, it's uh, natural, I mean, it's neutral in the middle. And uh, 7.5, it's alkaline. Basically, this plant, for example, over here, if there is a, if there is a micro elements and micro elements here, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, zinc, and others, to be able to be accessible for this plant, the, the, the soil, and the water is supposed to be 5.8 to 6.5. 5.5 or 5.8 to 6.5. Because even if there is a elements here, they won't be accessible to the plant. These eggshells and the banana peels actually are like a train. They move in the elements towards the plant. Nitrogen, for example, it's a mobile element which means moves towards the plant but Kali doesn't move really moves but not that much Ka uh, uh, calcium doesn't move that much and that's why if you put coffee grounds in your garden will make it really acid if you go for good look plants I don't know if they will die but I will tell you 100% they will struggle they will have food just right there and they won't be able to reach it that's why the best thing i do with the coffee grounds i throw it thank you so much i don't want to keep you long if you guys have any questions or you want to know more about the ppm about the the mpk let me know text in comments thank you so much bye